Hey everybody, I'm Trish Winkowski from FoldFactory.com and I'm in Nashville, Tennessee at Lithographics Inc., a commercial printer running 24-7. They've invited me here today to learn more about scoring and die cutting and I'm really interested to see what they have in store for us. Let's go. Hi Carol. Hi Trish. Thanks for having me today. Good hey, night. thanks. Well, hey, we're talking about die cutting today. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll just kind of dive right in because you've got a lot going on today. Um, so when we talk about dies in general, a lot of people think that a die is specifically right. cutting, but what really is it? Well, a die can be anything from a score die to uh, cut die, perforations, um, kiss cutting dies. So do you a lot of times combine those different right. things into can, one die? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is every die standard or custom or? Well, we have standard dies that we keep in house for our customers. Okay, so what's this what's a, this one? This is a nine by twelve pocket folder. And okay, so if I'm a customer and I've got a nine by twelve pocket folder, you basically can just pull from your inventory right, of these, and so. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, but if I have something elaborate, then what happens? Well, we have custom dies built special order. Okay. More elaborate die. So, so do you do these in-house? No, we outsource this job. Okay, so these are done, are, are they done by hand or computerized? They're or? computerized equipment, state okay. of the art equipment that our die maker uses. Okay, all right. So this one is actually, looks like scoring and cutting and... Scoring, cutting. Yep. Great. So anything involving a die oftentimes seems to involve a, an extra upcharge, and why, why is that? Well, we outsource our dies and you have the material and the labor involved, the more elaborate die, of course, costs more, the simpler dies cost less. Okay. So. And then are we dealing with a, an offline process as well? Yes. Okay, so we've got a separate press in general that's doing the, the die right. mm -hmm. as well. And so it looks like you have a couple of different machines here. Can you yes, tell me a little have, bit about? Well, we have the, the older model Heidelberg. It's a maximum sheet size 22 by 30. Um, average speed probably in the 2,000 range per okay. hour. And then we have the newer model box with average speed probably oh, 5,000 an hour. We've got the capabilities of running a full press sheet. Okay, so you can do larger quantities, larger sheets right. here. And right. then smaller, more specialized stuff on right. the other machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, are you gonna start these up for me and sure. we'll see them in action? Sure. Great, okay. All right, Daryl, so can you show us uh, this machine in action? Sure. Okay. So about how many are we running per hour? We're running 5,000 an hour. The machine has a maximum speed of 7,800. Okay. So basically we're stamping into the paper as we go. Very cool. We've got a per six two per inch per. Okay. On this little boy. Okay, great. And he ends up like this. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right. Okay. Are we gonna see one in action? All right. out the other side. All right, let's see what we've got. We're just scoring this face. Okay, so just a score. Mm -hmm. Great. Great, thanks. Okay, so let's move on to scoring. So how do you know when something should be scored? Depends on the weight of the stock, the amount of coverage, on the stock. Okay, so ink coverage in general. Right. Okay, because you can get, if you fold it, there's heavy ink coverage and you fold it, you could get kind of a yucky white yeah. cracking. Right. Okay. I've heard also paper grain. Right. Okay. Paper grain. So the best 
the best fold is really with the grain of the paper, but we can't always fold with the grain. Sometimes we're against the grain, so really it, it, it helps to, to crease those fibers and so that it, we don't get cracked. Okay, I know as a designer, one of the issues as well is if there's color breaks, like critical color breaks on the fold. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's another yep. one too. Okay, so really, are there any advantages or disadvantages of scoring? Well, advantages give you a nicer look mm -hmm. in, in the fold itself. Disadvantages are, are sometimes the cost involved mm -hmm. with, fold, with scoring offline versus in line. Okay. And also I've heard too, once you've really placed that score, you don't really have the ability to tweak that folding placement because the, right. the mark is right. there. Mm -hmm. So you really have to make sure that that placement is, uh, is critical. Okay. So is there only one scoring technique? I mean, I've, I've heard that there are different ways to score. We can, we can score on press. Okay, inline. so that's called an inline score. Right. Okay. And we can score on a folder or okay. inline on a stitcher. Okay. It's not as good of quality. Okay, and then there's the offline score, right. which is through a machine, which, which like a letter press do. machine, yes. or kind of like we saw on the in the dive video, basically, right. mm -hmm. is you can score offline. So right. your highest quality score is your mm -hmm. offline score. Right. But if you really kind of you need something, but you don't have the budget, you can do an inline score. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know if I have any more questions. <laughs> I've learned a lot today. <laughs> well, thanks so much nice for having, having me. Nice having you. All right, I might be back. Okay. So. Come back anytime. Okay, thanks. We'll see ya. Uh -huh. All right, everybody, let's review what we've learned today. The steel rules of a die are not necessarily just for cutting. A die can combine cutting, perfing, scoring, and kiss cutting. Depending on the project, your printer may have an assortment of standard dies to choose from, which can help save some money, so it may be worth asking about on your next project. If you need a custom die created, build some room in your budget for cost of a die. As you might expect, the more complicated the die, the more it will cost to produce. And lastly, the die cutting process is often an offline process, but in some cases can also be done inline as well, depending on the project. Ask your printer about your options. Moving on to scoring, there are many reasons why you may need to consider scoring the sheet. The first is weight of the stock. The heavier the sheet, the higher the likelihood that you'll need to score. A score across heavy ink coverage prevents ugly cracking, and scoring helps decrease fibers of a fold made against the grain. When there are critical color breaks at the fold, scoring can help to ensure a precision placement of the fold. There are many ways to score, and depending upon the project, scoring can be done inline, offline, and even on a folder or stitcher. My best piece of advice for everyone is to keep the lines of communication open with your printer. Ask them for production advice, and since there are many ways to score and different costs associated with those different techniques, let them know what is most important to you, quality or economy. Now that was worth the trip. Thanks for joining me. Visit FoldFactory.com for more information and remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm not going to leave until uh, you say something. So. Well, it's funny you ask because I've been dying to say <laughs> that my name is David Bailey Jr. and I am a folding fanatic. <laughs> yeah.